Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Life's a Project. So you may remember this project from earlier this year, this home decor sign with this lamb's ear wreath. It was one of my favorites. It's hanging here in the entryway of my home. I just love it. I love the way that this wreath looks. And if you missed this project, go back and check it out. Now the fun thing is, is that this little wreath here is just hanging on a command hook. So I can easily switch this out and make other small wreaths for different occasions and different holidays and things like that. So that is the project for today. I want to make a fall wreath to go here and then later on in another video um, I want to make one for Christmas time. So let's get to today's project. Now you can purchase a set of two of these 8 inch wreath forms from the Dollar Tree and that's a super great deal. I can use one now and then make one of these wreaths for Christmas time. That will make a great video for later on so make sure you are subscribed. But I just have it up here to check the size and I think the size is going to be perfect for the O in my home sign for fall. So again, I'm just going to need one of these for this project. I'll save the other one for a separate project video. So first, I'm just going to take a little piece of twine here and make my little wreath hanger. You can get twine at the Dollar Tree, but I'm just using some that I already had. And I'm just going to make a little knot. And again, that's going to be how I will hang my wreath on my hook. So now my plan is to use a pack of these maple leaves, these faux leaves that look like fall or the colors of fall. I think they're so pretty. You can get 50 here in a pack at the Dollar Tree. And I just want to start and just cover the entire wreath form with these leaves just using hot glue. And I think it'll be easier if I cover the entire thing first before I start to glue the leaves. I think that'll just make the leaves stick much better better and so I'm just using some of this mesh tube that kind of looks like burlap or you know has the look of jute twine and I'm just going to use the entire 15 feet you get in this pack and just tie it off at the top of the wreath form and just wrap the entire thing until it's all gone. So now I have it all covered. It looks really good, I think. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to get covered up, but I think by covering it, it'll be easier to glue things on. And just in case you see the wreath form, it'll look a lot nicer covered in this mesh tubing. So now I'm going to start adding the fall leaves. Now I'm going to start at the top and work my way around. I'm just going to use some hot glue. Just a little bit is all you need. And I'm going to also alternate the color of the leaves. I don't want the same color side by side. Also, I want the leaves um, kind of on top of one another so that it looks nice and full. So I want to layer them. I want to put some on top. Also tuck some underneath so that not all of them are laying the exact same way. I think it'll look really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the entire thing. So it's fully covered with the leaves. I think it looks really great. I can keep it just this way and hang it up there and I think it would look really beautiful, but I think it would be even more fun to dress it up a little bit more with a couple of things I found at the Dollar Tree. So I found these orange berry picks at the Dollar Tree. You get two little bundles in a pack. So 16 berry picks, what a deal. And so I may only use one little bundle. So what I like to do is just pull the wire right out of the berry or you can actually cut it off with your scissors. And then I just like to glue them right on. Now if you'd like, you can keep the wire in the little berry pick and just wire it to the wreath form, but I think it's just so much easier to hot glue them on. So I just randomly placed the berries. I only used eight of the 16, so just half a pack. And I think it's enough. I think you could put more, you could put less, do what you want, but I like the way that it looks. So now I want to add a couple of these pumpkins. You can find these also at the Dollar Tree. You can get four in a pack. Another really great deal. And so I think I'll just use two. I want to place them more in the center of this wreath. And again, I just pull out the wire and then hot glue them into place. 
So guys, here it is. I love the way that it turned out with these little pumpkins and berries. I love it. It's dressed up just enough, but not too over the top. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a bow. Just make it your own. And I love this project. It was so inexpensive. I spent $5 for supplies at the Dollar Tree, and I pretty much have enough supplies left over to make another one if I would like. So really inexpensive. I loved it. I hope you do too. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.